So hi, my name is Jalice, and this is Infinite Mod. It's the design, of course, who we are. We are a Toronto sewing and fashion studio. And of course, we teach you how to sew both in studio and online. If you need to find out more about our online sewing services, kindly click the link in the description below, and you could definitely contact us. And of course, if you are new here, kindly consider subscribing and ring the notification bell to get more videos like this one. Now, in this video, we will be making an imitation clutch bag, so stay tuned. Then a measure of 13 across. So 13 across. Take your ruler and you could just mark it across. 17. And you have 13 up here. Sorry, 17 up here. So 17. And you mark 17 up here. So you mark 17 here, and you mark 17 up here as well. All right. Okay. All right, now at this point, all right, you have a good angle. Okay. This is 13. Um, okay, so now I have 13 across here. So always measure. So this is 13 here. All right. Good. So 13 by. All right, perfect. Now you're going to cut. So you want to make sure you have two pieces of lining. So this is the lining we're cutting out. Then we want the fabric. So the fabric I'm putting is a lace fabric. So I'm gonna put a lace and then I'll put another fabric to cover the lace. So you would see what I'm doing. Okay, so one of the reasons why I cut it separate because I want to let you know that the lining, you could use a different color for the lining or you could use the same color, all the pens. So me, I'm using the same color for the lining. That's what happened here. Okay, so let me assess to see how many pieces I have now. So I'm supposed to have four pieces of this and two pieces of the other one. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So four pieces of the fabric and I will use two for lining and then for two pieces of um, of lace. Now you still want to cut more. So the cut two um, uh, interfacing. On the interfacing, the goal of the interfacing is to make sure that um, that your, your bag stay nice and stiff, right? So I simply get two full pieces here. I just use one of the the lining to, to cut. Perfect. So I have two my two lining, my two pieces of lining, my two pieces of fabric, my two pieces of uh, interfacing, and then my lace, which is my covering, my two pieces of lace. Okay. I also have my zipper, and I I use a 13 inch uh, zipper from end to end is 13 inch. All right. And then I have to cut one more piece because I wanted a pocket. So the pocket I'm going to measure it. I'm just doing it randomly. Let's see. Seven. Let's say about seven inches. So it's 14 inches. Let's get a piece of fabric 14 inches. It's kind of uneven here. So I'm just going to see if we can get even straight. About seven inches, right? Yeah, about seven inches. Okay, so that's all we need. So let's go to iron the interfacing now. So we're gonna iron the interfacing on the uh, on one of the lining. Gonna take my interfacing. Let's say my lining is this way. Let's say I open it. 
this way. I want to iron on this side, right the inside. Although this fabric is the same way anyway, so. So this here, there's a glue, if you feel on the interface and it's like a little bit stiff, all right? If you feel on it, there's a rough side and there's a nice smooth side. So you wanna, the rough side have a glue that you wanna iron that. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is you get your lining. So remember your lining, you'll put your, your iron, the um, interface in on the lining, all right? So the interface on this side, get your lining and turn it this side, right? So right side facing you. Then you're gonna zip, get your zip. So I ensure you put the zipper on the 14 side. So basically, it's not the 17, but the 14 side. So I'm pins and pin it just across like this. The fabric now, this is how my fabric gonna be. This is my fabric, but I have the lace over the fabric, right? So I hope you're seeing that there. And I'm just gonna kind of slightly pin the lace over the fabric so I could get it really nice and stable. So if there's any extra, then I could always trim it out after. So this is the right side. So that's the sort of right sides, right side of the lining looking at me, and the right side of the fabric is here, right? All right. Then I will turn it like this. So right sides must touch the end of this here, and I'm just gonna pin it down again. So I'm just gonna. Kind of feed it in, take the pin here, and sandwich it together, then I'll take out this pin. Just come here again, sandwich it together. And this last one, sandwich it together. Okay, so if you have any extra up here, don't worry about that. And then we're gonna go on the machine, and we're gonna sew this down. I put it on my machine now. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is unzip the zipper, but also keep my hand up on where the head of the zipper is, okay? And then I'm gonna start my sewing, and then I start. All right, so the head of my zipper is around here. Okay, so I'm gonna stop, then, I'm gonna zip it up. If you need to raise up the pressure foot, raise it up to kind of get the zipper head up nice and proper. In this case, I didn't have to. So now I'm gonna make sure that everything is sewn down, sandwiched together. Then I'm gonna do a top stitch. Should actually so everything down here for the top stitch. I wanna make sure that everything is lined on really, really flat. So I'm gonna sew the lining. So just to correct that, I'm gonna sew the lining and the fabric down together for the top stitch, because I want everything to lie down. Once I finish, I realize now it wasn't lining down the way I wanted to. So I just bring everything down this way. All right, you do it back like this. Push everything to lie down nicely, neat. Okay, that feels way better. Okay, so we finished with this. Now we're gonna take our lining piece, the so same as the first time. Put our lining here. Then we're gonna sandwich this together. I'll take some. Uh, and then we're gonna take our fabric now. So again, I put the lace over the fabric, right? I kind of pin it down to stabilize it. And then we're gonna put it again, sandwich together like this. All right, so I just kind of sandwich them together. Make sure everything is, is nicely down. I'll take out any extra pin here. So now, just so I'm gonna take my time and I'll sew this down. 
Remember I have the, the, the head is here. So I'm just gonna kind of monitor where I have the head, all right. But I'm gonna actually start this way. So yeah, so I would, I know the head is down there. So just be careful. All right, so let's go and sew it down now. All right, so I just put it down. So this is sandwich in here, right? So we're gonna take our time and sew it down. Make sure all of our pieces is on the zipper, because that's the bolt. So keep in mind that my head is um, way at the end, so which is good. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll stop and I'll unzip the zipper. If the presser foot is giving you any issue, you could open the leaf of the presser foot and bring down the zipper. Good. The domestic machine, in most cases, you have it and leaf up the presser foot. Beautiful. So I am done the major part. So now, I'm gonna make sure that the lining is on this side. And this is on that side, and then we're gonna go straight now and do our understitching. Okay, so let's open it taut, make sure it's nice and taut. So just make sure that your lining is tailored, that is very important. Pull it down. Okay. So I'm making sure that everything is all good. I'm gonna put it down again. All right, that's it. So now I'm gonna prepare my pockets. So this is my pockets here. I'm gonna cut it so it's in it's in a fold. Right. So I'm just gonna fold it right sides to right sides, and then I'm gonna sew it down with a little opening. So if the opening on the side here. Let's go half an inch down. I'm gonna turn. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn here. I'll leave a little open. That's it. Okay, so I'm just gonna nip it out just to kind of get the corners relaxing a bit. Okay, that's it. So I'm gonna use this this little hole here and open it. It's a tiny hole I left. Hopefully it's big enough to pull everything out. All right, so I'm just gonna open it like this and turn it. All right, so what I will do here now is go and iron this down. And then we'll add our pockets in and then just iron it down. All right, so now we're just gonna put in our lining. So this is our fabric piece here. We just turn it over, so the lining. And then you just have to make sure that this is not in the way, okay? Let's make sure, so this is how I have it here. And I'm gonna take my pockets here, which is on iron down. And I'll pin it more to the bottom side. Just like that. You could measure if you want. Like if you want to measure like a one and a half inch up from the edge, you know. Because I know some people love to do with measurements. So one and a half inch up. And it could come in like maybe two and a half inch inside on both sides, I believe. Or if you could get two inch inside. The size doesn't really make too much. Um, it doesn't matter too, too much, right? So I'm just going to go nice and sew, just leaving this opening. So, so I'll go here, I'll sew here. From here, here, and down. Back stitch here, back stitch here. This is my opening. Okay. Let's 
why I turned on this side now. Make sure everything is all. So that's like my inner pocket. So you see our pocket is done. Perfect. All right, so this is what we're gonna do for the final straw now. We're gonna be sewing our zipper. And we're gonna sew our back clothes. Clothes now, sewing our back clothes. All right, so. That's how we're gonna do. So I want us to take this part right and this part and put them together and this part and that part gonna be for itself okay so the lining part gonna be together we just put this down so kind of stabilize it and you're gonna pin it down you gotta make sure you pin nice and neat down or oh, clips if you're using clips okay so one other thing when you're making sure it's Close. I want to make sure that this zipper here is inside facing um, the line inside okay so the head is kind of pushed down like this towards the line inside okay and you could zip down the zipper make sure the zipper is open when you're doing when you're pinning everything so the zipper is pretty much open okay so now I'm gonna push this down towards the line inside and make sure the seams line up nicely here and I'm gonna just pin it down So towards that side. So it's the same thing for here too. Just make sure it's, it's towards this side. So let's put it up a little. that is done and you pin down nice and proper all right so here we're gonna do the same thing join it down together so here I'm just gonna kind of skim it through so the goal here I'm gonna leave an opening on the side here all right so I'm gonna start my sewing here no I'll start here I'm gonna come sew all the way around and I'm gonna leave this opening here. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing right now. So let's go. So right here, I'll try to do half five eighths of an inch. Um, or it could just be safe with half an inch if you like, but my fabric is sometimes, some of them is not cut 100% straight, but you get the point. Here is fine, and then here is uh okay. So the part is not cut straight, I just always trim it out. So here I'm gonna just go a little half an inch up. But your goal is just to go half an inch up. So when I come around my zipper part, I have to be very careful here because it's a metal part, and I don't want my needle to break, I don't want no trouble. See, I'm right on the metal part. So if I was sewing fast, then it would have break. So to fix that, I'm gonna reverse, right? And I'm gonna just slide that way around. If the needle is, if the zipper is longer, that's 14 inches, then it would have been fine. You would have just cut it, cut it out. But it's okay here, so I'm gonna even go back because I want there to be stronger. The metal part is so important. We don't wanna mess with that because a lot of things could happen. Okay. Take your time over my pins. Prefer not sewing over them. All right. Here, I'll just try to see if I can make five eighths of an inch. 
you don't have to uh, back stitch here anyway I just decided to do it okay I'm missing a lot of extra fabric days because I'm working with the Lisa Lista's. It's not that straight, but the point just cut exactly as I as I mentioned. I think was uh, just follow the measurement as is. And if your lace is not that straight, just try. As you continue, you'll get it. And trust me, this purse will come out perfectly fine. Okay, so here now, I don't have the head because my, my zipper is open, but I'll still take it easy around here. That's how, when I reach around my zipper part, I'm just gonna hand sew instead of machine sew, just to make sure I don't make any mistake. All right, so I'm gonna just do some back stitching. All right, so I'm gonna come forward again. I'm gonna come forward and I'm still going back. Okay, so I'm gonna come forward, perfect. All right, so all good. Continue. Right here, and I stop here. Take out my pins as my guide. So now I'll just trim out along here. Trim out along here. Right. All my little extras here, which I don't really need, I could always trim them down. The thing is, I didn't cut the fabric on the green, so I just cut. So I'm expecting all kind of something which is fine so now we're gonna try to open it now shove my hand through pull them up here and pull it out very very nice and gentle Push this on the inside. Just be gentle if you're using a scissors or before you're not using scissors just in case if you still new you see yeah okay so you just want to make sure everything is set up so this is going to be a bag when you're iron it my downside is nice and fancy and the inside is This is a simple bag, right? So let me show you the pockets. So you have a pocket here. Nice, eh? Very nice. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is just to close this down here. Make sure this is up. You close the, the head, the open part down, and then we're done. All we need to do is to iron. 
just gonna close it down here. Let us close the, the bottom. I'm turning back. Pocket cute, you see. <laughs> Alright, so I will show you the final work. I'm gonna be ironing it. And then yeah, you could definitely go ahead and try making a fancy clothes bag. And we will see in the in the last video. We'll see in the last section, of course. So this is the final work of our bag, our clutch bag. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to kindly subscribe to our channel. Take care, guys.